Mana, did you like it? Les gustó. Or not? Sí, estuvo bien, yes. estuvo chido. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're going to record this lesson for today's class and for the class of Inclusion 3. Vamos a grabar esta clase para eh, la sesión de hoy, 4 de octubre, y también servirá para el grupo de inclusión de tercer semestre. All right, let me prepare my PowerPoint over here. First things first, lo primero, voy a revisar con ustedes las actividades que se sugiere realizarse en esta semana en uh, Academic, para que tomen nota por favor, porque se cerraron algunas actividades por cuestión de secuencia de contenidos. Entonces, quiero que lo vayan revisando junto conmigo. Chicos, para esta semana de Academic, se sugiere trabajar los contenidos de la, de la, del bloque número 4, que ustedes los tienen aquí, pero les aviso que únicamente de la unidad o del bloque 4 más bien de trabajo, vamos a estar trabajando con solamente tres temas. Lo voy a poner aquí en el chat. Fíjate bien, asking for information. My dog and my mother We're going to be sending topics and are going to be working without within the unit number four. No se van a trabajar dentro de la unidad cuatro de o el bloque cuatro de trabajo. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre esto? Bien, entonces, repito, en esta semana de su calendario se sugiere eh, realizar las actividades de la unidad 4. Vamos a trabajar en todas las actividades del bloque 4 de trabajo, a excepción de las actividades que corresponden al tema Asking for Information, My Dog and My Mother. 
good. Let me start with this stuff. All right, class, you ready? We're gonna start with this. And we're gonna have a spelling test express. So right now, you're gonna write on your notebooks and I'm going to be spelling five words for you to check how do you go on the alphabet activity. Are you ready? Yes. All right. What about the rest? This is going to be an evidence from today's lesson. Chicos, les voy a pedir por favor que estén atentos. We're going to do a spelling test review. Vamos a hacer un examen de deletreo rápido para revisar cómo les fue con las actividades de academic sobre los fonemas del alfabeto. So, as soon as you have your answers, uh, you're going to take a picture of those and you are going to uh, upload it to Classroom. Lo que vamos a hacer es que en cuanto revisemos los resultados del ejercicio, ustedes van a cargar la evidencia en Classroom inmediatamente. Are you ready? Can you raise your hand if you're ready, please? Pueden levantar sus manos si ya están listos. Recuerdo que es parte de la actividad sincrónica del día de hoy. So I'm going to spell five different words and you are going to write them down on your notebook. Voy a deletrear cinco palabras diferentes. Ustedes las tendrán que anotar. Revisaremos las respuestas correctas y en cuanto hagan las correcciones, o sea, pongan tachita o palomita, le toman foto desde su libreta y lo cargan, lo cargan inmediatamente a clase. Ok. So I'm going to start and we go with word number one. I'm going to repeat each word two times. Voy a, re voy a repetir cada una de las palabras. Okay. 
Number one. C I N N A M O N I repeat repito C I N N A M O N Number two, C O F F E E. I repeat, C O F F E E. Number three, M. I L K. I repeat M I L K. Number four E S P R E S S O. I repeat, E S P R E S S O. Number five, S T A R B U C. K S I repeat S T A R V U C K S Got it. So open your cameras and show your answers. Abran sus cámaras y muestren sus palabras, por favor. Come on, let's do it. Evidence, thank you. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Now, make any corrections. Vamos a hacer correcciones y cuando hagan correcciones, le toman foto y lo cargan en Classroom inmediatamente. These were the words. Las palabras fueron cinnamon, coffee, milk, Espresso and Starbucks. Cinnamon, coffee, milk, espresso, and Starbucks. La palabra correcta en la primera es doble N. Me falta ahí una N. Cinnamon, coffee, milk, espresso, and Starbucks. Now, people, raise your hand who had all five correct. Levanten su mano quien tuvo las cinco correctas. One. That's very nice. Good. Okay, thank you. Can you please send the work immediately to Google Classroom? In Google Classroom, you're going to find this one over here, spelling B, class October 4th. You can give it a click, and you can send the picture of your spelling B. Please. It's on right now.
Are we ready? I have only one attendance. Only one person has delivered. All right, I'm going to continue over here. So yeah, today we're talking about countries and we're going to do it very, very fast because it's like a very basic vocabulary. So it's not very complicated or difficult. Yes, so just checking this vocabulary really fast. I have uh, Great Britain, the USA, we have France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Germany, Finland, the Netherlands, Turkey, Australia, Japan, China, and Brazil. On the second spot, you have like all the different languages each country speak. Yeah. So, tenemos los nombres de los países y sus idiomas. Any new one that you didn't identify? Uh, it's all clear. Yes. Any new countries or idioms you didn't know? This is quite basic. No? Do you know what is uh, Germany? Yes? Okay. What about Turkey? Do you identify Turkey? What is that country? Turkey. Good. Maybe Finland, that it's more easy? Finlandia. Good. And, and Germany what? is Alemania. Yes, very nice. And what about the Netherlands? That's a tricky one. That's more or less difficult. Do you identify the Netherlands? What's that country? Anyone? What's that country for? And they talk, they speak Dutch. Netherlands as Países Bajos, that's the one, the Netherlands, yes, Países Bajos. So, once again, um, we have names of countries and the different languages. Don't worry, I'll, I'll give you the presentation about this lesson, okay, so you can copy this. Si los quieren copiar en su libreta, les dejo la presentación ahorita. It's a, like a basic vocabulary, and it's good to have it. Okay, so uh, let me talk to you about this guy. Let's see. Uh, Fernanda Ramos, can you help me reading this? Yes, teacher. Okay. He is Barack Obama. He is 53 years old. He is America. He is ex-president of the United States. So thank you very much. So we have like four different statements over here. We're given the name. We are uh, expressing the age, la edad. We're expressing the nationality. Yes, la nacionalidad. And then we are expressing uh, occupation, like... He is Barack Obama, he is 53 years old, he is American, he is ex-president of the United States. Now, let me start with my example. I am Humberto Tarango, I am 35 years old, I am Mexican, and I am a teacher. Anyone wants to give an example? Alguien más me ayuda con un ejemplo sobre ustedes mismas o mismos. Come on. I gave mine. Ángeles, thank you. Okay. I am Maria de Los Ángeles. I have... 
I am. I am seven years old. Excellent. I'm a student. Yes. I live in Mexico. I'm from Mexico. I am Mexican. I am Mexican. Yes. Very nice. I am Mexican. Thank you. That was really good. Uh, let's go with uh, Rocio. Can you give me an example? Yes. All right. I am Dana Villegas. I am 17 years old. Great. I'm Mexican and I am a student. I am a student. All right. Let's go with... Uh, thank you very much, Dana. Let's go with Wendolin. Can you help us? Your, your, your microphone. All right. Come on. No, le entendí. Me lo repito otra vez. Yes, you can. Like, okay, listen up. I am Humberto. What about you? No. Yes. Uh, I am Wendelin Alejo. Um, yes, very uh, nice. Uh, I am Mexican. Y yes. I am a student. I am a student. That was really good, Wendelin. Thank you. Okay. So I think we have like these examples clear. Yes. And right now we're talking about Barack Obama. But let me tell you. Let me tell you about these people over here. So we have Barack again. Vamos a ver si conocen a esta gente. I mean, we have Barack. Yes. We have this one. We have this one. <laughs> and we have this stuff. Who are they, people? Shakira, Julián Álvarez y Paquita, la de lo arreo. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, over here, we have different nationalities. We have different ages, diferentes nacionalidades, diferentes edades, different countries, diferentes países, and of course, different names, y diferentes nombres, of course, yes. So, let's try to do this written exercise. Vamos a tratar de hacer esta actividad escrita. Take a look. So, don't forget, huh? it's Barack Obama, Shakira, Julian Álvarez, Paquita La del Barrio. Use the verb be to give name, age, and nationality. I have an example. I am Humberto, I am 31, and I am Mexican. So, how can we fulfill the answer from Barack Obama? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? ¿Me pueden ayudar con su respuesta en el chat? How do we write the sentence about Barack Obama? ¿Cómo escribiríamos la oración sobre Barack Obama? Come on, help me out on the chat. He is Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's make up an age. Les vamos a inventar la edad. He is 53. And he is American. That was really good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yes. He's Obama. He's 53. And he's American. He's Barack Obama. He's 53. And he's American. All right. So, please, write the rest of it. Let's share with the class the rest of the ideas. Vamos a compartir en el chat cuando tengamos el resto de las oraciones. Come on. What about Shakira and Julian and Paquita? What can we say?
Teacher, how do you say Colombiana? Ah, that's a good one. We're going to say Colombian. We're going to say Colombian. Rebecca is saying, she is Shakira, she's 40 years, she is Colombian. He is Julian Alvarez, he's 43 years, and he is Mexican. Okay, yes. That's very good. She is Shakira, Fernanda said. She's 44, and she's... Do you think she's 44? I think I think she's 50. Yo digo que Shakira ya tiene como 60, ¿no? I don't know. He is Julian Alvarez. He's 48, and he is Mexican. Nice. And what about Paquita? Don't forget about Paquita. Acuérdense de mi Paquita. What do you What do you think about her? I suppose she is Mexican, but I don't know. Let's see. Paquita la del barrio. Es Mexicana. She is Mexican, and actually she is from uh, Veracruz. Yeah. She's from over there. That's nice. Teacher, yo estoy investigando sus edades y su nacionalidad, solo que no, no vi el de Paquita, la del barrio. <laughs> really? <laughs> let, me, let me check. Okay. Okay, there you go. Uh, she was born in, oh my God, 1947. That means she, oh, she is 74 years old. That's something. Mm -hmm. Right, I think we're ready. Wendolin, she's Shakira, she's 44, and she's Colombian. She's Paquita La del Barrio, she's 78, she's Mexican. Very nice, that's very, very nice. All right, let's do this. New jam board. She's Paquita La del Barrio. She's 74 years and she's Mexican, yes. That's really nice.
Right, let me prepare my next activity. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to share with you one uh, document and let me know when you're in. Very good, celebrity. We have Yeah, sure. Very nice. Give me one second. I'm checking some names. Daphne, Ana, Ana Rocío, Dariana, Fernanda, Irma, Jocelyn. Linda, Ángeles, Fernanda, Pata, Maite, Areli, and Nick. Very nice. We're going to have four teams. Okay. Those are your teams. All right, we have new teams for uh, today's activity. Can you check them on the on the web on the chat, please? Yes.
This is going to be cool. Okay. Let's see. Did you identify your name? Yes? Have you identified your name? ¿Ya identificaron su, su nombre? Yes, teacher. Yes, perfect. So, uh, right now, I'm going to share with you this... Uh, there is a document that I'm sharing with you. Es un documento que estoy compartiendo con ustedes. This one over here. So, it's basically one column for each... Uh, for each team, yes? Okay, something like that. So, let's say... Uh, team number one, Ángeles. Team number two, René. Team number three, Linda. Fernanda, team number four. Are you, are you here? ¿Están listos los que nombre de cada equipo? Let's give an example. Okay, this is a, this is a cáliz. Let's make a cáliz. Vamos a hacer un cáliz. Okay, so take a look. I'm going to show you a slide, and on that slide, I'm going to give you information about a person, about the age and the nationality, and you will have to write the correct answer on the sheet. What I'm going to do is, that I'm going to show you... Um, Information about a person and you will have to form. ¿Quiénes van en la primera ronda del Cáliz? Ángeles, equipo 1. René, equipo 2. Linda, equipo 3. Fernanda, equipo 4. Let's make a Cáliz. ¿Están listos los cuatro? Yeah, yes. Perfect. Fíjate bien, los elementos que te voy a dar y quiero que formes una oración. ¿En dónde? En la columna de tu equipo con el documento que te compartí. Ready. Do you know who this guy is? Any ideas? Alguien lo identifica? Es el fundador de Facebook. Oh, but what about the name? Uh, no sé. I know. All right. Okay, the rest of the information. Fíjate toda la información que te voy a dar para que formes la oración. Do it as fast as you can. Hazlo lo más rápido que puedas para que gane el equipo. This is Mark Zuckerberg. ¿Dónde está el documento? It's shared with you on this stuff. Are you in there? No lo vamos a hacer en el cuaderno. O sea, para... No, darle. we're doing it here. Pero cómo, no entiendo. You go to your Gmail, te vas a tu cuenta de Gmail y yo te compartí esta tabla ya con todos los demás que estamos en la clase. Mira, ya andan por acá. Salúdenme quienes andan por ahí. Come on. Hello. Maite is here. Okay, once again, una vez más, nuestro equipo, nuestra ronda de Cáliz. Ángeles, René, Linda, and Fernanda, are you ready? No, me estoy, metiendo, me estoy metiendo a la cosa esa. Okay. Hipertexto document, it's cool.
Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Ya no me parece a mí. Okay, I'll show you the first slide. Thirty-five and American. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you um, Angeles, Rene, Linda, and Fernanda for your team. Write your sentence. What will be the sentence? Anyone? No? Ah, ya veo que anda alguien por acá. Very good. ¿Quién me escribió esto? He is Mark Zuckerberg. He is 35 and... He is American. That was Irma. <laughs> that was, yeah. Sorry. Rosa, it's okay, it's okay. That was good. Okay. Entonces, ¿saben qué? Vamos a ayudarnos por equipo, okay? A ver cuál equipo la va escribiendo primero. Le repito los equipos, eh. Ángeles, Rosa, Daphne, Gwendolyn, team number one. Team number two. René, Maite, Fernanda, en Rebeca. Team number three. Linda, Cecilia, Profe. Ana. Yes. Es, bueno, yo ya lo tengo así igual, pero no lo puedo escribir. Bueno, lo estoy escribiendo en el celular y no sé. Did you access to the document? ¿Accesaste con tu Gmail? Sí. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's because of your phone. I'm not sure. Okay. So, clear all your answers. Borren ya todas sus respuestas y vamos a iniciar con la competencia ahora sí. La primera respuesta que yo vea registrada la voy marcando en color amarillo y se queda como la correcta. El equipo 4 le falta borrar ahí su respuesta. Come on, people. We can do this. Very good. Empezamos. I'm giving you only four facts, three facts to include on your sentence. Te estoy dando únicamente tres datos para incluir en tus oraciones. Name, age, and nationality. Okay, name, age, and nationality. How we go? Ta -da! That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Ready? I'm waiting for your answers on the document. Solo el primero del equipo, ¿verdad? Whoever wants to participate. Quien quiera participar por el equipo para no tener problemas de que alguien no pueda accesar. Very nice. Yes. This was the first one. Esta fue la primera. Team number three. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. 
let me just write this down format yes very good She is Camila Cabello, she is 22 years old, and she is Mexican. Bórrenme su respuesta a los demás, menos la de amarillo. Esa se queda como el punto. Very nice. Hasta ahorita va ganando el equipo número 3. Are you ready for the next one? ¿Listos para la siguiente? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. We continue. Hey, ¿por qué me la borraron de amarillo? I want it together. Yes. This little guy, this little guy, this little guy, and this little guy. Come on, I'm waiting. He's Harry Potter, he's 19 years old, and he is British. Yes. At the same time. Creo que fue un empate entre el equipo 1 y el equipo 3. It was like basically at the same time. Very nice. Okay. Next one. Any ideas? respuestas por favor van dos puntos del equipo tres un punto del equipo uno ready Vladimir Putin he's the president of Russia 54 Russian Cecilia, really good. You were really, really fast as well. Yes, he's Vladimir Putin. He's 54 years old and he's Russian. Very nice. Next one. Ta da, ta da, ta da, and ta da. Come on, people. Come on, people. Yes. Oh, you have a mistake. Martian. Martian. He's ET. He's 140. Oh, you erased it. Lo borraron. I'm sorry. He's ET. He's 45 years old. 145. And he's a Martian. Del equipo 4 no está jugando nadie. I don't know. I don't know why. 
Off we go. Next. She's the president, well, actually ex-president of Germany. Come on. Come on, I don't see. She's yeah, very nice. Team number one. She's Angela Merkel. She's 57 years old and she is German. Yes, that was very, very good. Perfect. Okay, very nice. Next. Dun, dun, dun. Ready. Very good, tip number four. He's Ed Sheeran. Ew, no, no, no. How do you say Irlandes in English? Ireland? I'm gonna give you the clue. Irish. Irish, that's the word. Vamos, estoy esperando el equipo que tenga la respuesta correcta. Very nice. Team number four. El equipo cuatro corrigió inmediatamente. Very good. He is Irish. That's nice. Yes, team number four. That was good. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, we're going to stop there. No vamos a detener ahí. Now, take a look for the rest of the sentences. For the rest of the sentences, you're going to send it to me. going to be called celebrities. En el trabajo de Classroom que se deriva de esta clase, vas a cargar un trabajo que se llama Class October 4 Celebrities y cuando te entregue esta presentación vas a realizar el resto de las oraciones ¿cuáles son es el resto de esas oraciones? about this guy you have over here Ariana and that's it ok so you have to send it to me as well Let's see how many we have. How many sentences are we going to be sending on your notebook or on computer? ¿Cuántas oraciones vas a escribir en libreta o en compu? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? That's it. So, we move on over here. Right now, I have this. Uh... Oh, yes, I have it. Do you know who that girl is? Anyone? Elsa. That's Elsa. So, another of the topics you were going to find on the platform, uno de los temas que revisaron en plataforma fue el uso de los 
posesivos, ¿ok? And we're talking about the verb be, y estamos hablando del verbo be también. So over here, I have an example. I have an example of um, Elsa. And let's take a look. It says, she's Elsa Gutierrez and she's from Arendelle. She's 21 years old and she's Arendillian, like nationality. Elsa is queen of Arendelle. Her postcode is FR746 and her email address is Elsa slash nievechepo at hotmail.com. Her favorite food is Pollo Feliz and she is an excellent singer. Okay, so on which part of this do we identify the verb be? ¿En qué oraciones identifico el verbo be? Come on, help me out. Anyone? Anyone has a clue? She is. Okay. Now, what about the possessive? On which parts I identify the possessive of the ella? What's that word? Her. ¿En qué oraciones vamos a identificar? Elsa, ahí está una forma de verbo be. Another... He's 21, that's another one. She's the queen, that's another one. What about the possessives? ¿En dónde identifico los posesivos de ella? Su código postal, her postcode, that is another one. Su correo, her email, that is another one. Her favorite food. Her favorite food is Pollo Feliz, which is an excellent singer. Yes? I'll send you a different stuff. Okay, since we're checking this, we're going to go and...
Now, collectively, can you help me out with the, with the answers? Take a look to this, uh, to this information and let's see if you can give me the answers on this ones. Voy a compartir pantalla de nuevo, I'm sorry. Please give me your answers on the on the chat. Chicos, ¿qué palabras me hacen falta aquí para completar este texto? Come on. Is Okay, you can tell me like number whatever and then you can give me your answer. Give me the okay, number, number and one. then give me the word. Yes? Yes. Very nice. Yes. Okay. What else? Give me the number and give me the word. about it. Come on. ¿Sí se ve mi, la pantalla compartida, chicos? Sí, profe. Okay. Come on. Second, Help me with your answers. One, yes? In the number one is her. Like this? No. In the number one, second line. Over here, here. Okay. So this is the possessive for the masculine. Estamos hablando que para decir su cumpleaños de él utilizamos el posesivo her. Or we're gonna say his. His. Exactly. So we're going to say, he is Harry James Potter. His birthday is on July 31st. He is from London. He is an official order for the Ministry of Magic. What about three, four, five, six, and seven? What do you think? Alguien que tenga la respuesta para el número tres. His. Okay, very nice. No estoy viendo sus manitas levantadas, pero si quieren ayudarme a, a completarlo participando, abran su micro luego luego. Number four, anyone? His. He was. Very nice. His email address. Ay, disculpen mi letra porque no tengo mouse y estoy escribiendo con el pulso de mis manos. His email address is hocuspocus123 at hotmail.com. Number five, anyone? Is, 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 is. Very nice. His favorite drink is pumpkin beer. Excellent. Su bebida favorita es la cerveza de calabaza. What about number six? Is he is a wizard. Like I am a teacher. He is a wizard. Él es un mago. And he. What about number seven? Is he is. <laughs> 
He is very famous. Seguimos con el verbo be. El es muy famoso. He is very famous. Excellent. That was really good. Thank you. All right. Now, let's pay attention to this stuff over here. According to this activity, this text has some mistake. Take a look. Fíjate bien. Esta, este texto que estamos viendo, it has terrible mistakes. Tiene muchos errores. Okay? It's lacking use of capitalization. Le falta el uso de algunas mayúsculas. It can be used with any contractions. Tiene algunos errores en las contracciones. Le falta algo de puntuación también. Okay? So let's give uh, three minutes or maybe five minutes. Vamos a dar cinco minutos para que ustedes puedan reescribir el texto como ustedes crean que es la manera correcta. Ok. Let's, let's, let's check. Déjenme... Over there. Voy a compartir la pestaña de nuevo. Okay. It's over here. Ready. I have it. That's the one. <laughs> Make any corrections on capitalization, contractions, and punctuation. What are we doing right now is that we're trying to rewrite the paragraph. Lo que haremos será reescribir el párrafo en nuestra libreta con las correcciones que nosotros creemos que son las adecuadas. Okay? Let's give four more minutes. Please raise your hand when you're ready. Okay, I'll start with some examples of the possible. All corrections. This Chief of Famous 
Harry Potter. Thank you. 